is the very end of the Metabase series, Metabase tutorial number seven. And finally, we have written a question over here and we want to add it to our database, add it to our dashboard called clients. And there it is. Count of clients. Ah, count of clients is already on here. And as you can see, we added count of clients beforehand and it got saved. This is just a bigger version of it. Okay, and over here again, now we have a bar chart. We're going to press save because we added a new question here. Add whichever questions you want. If you want a filter to act on two of them, that's fine too. On, let's see over here. I want to show this one, which is three. Thursday, January 18. Let's do January 18, February. No. January 18, update filter. And it's going to work. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, because I didn't tie it to that specific day. But this specific question, I tied it. Remember, you need to go up here. You need to press. You need to, every time you add a new question, you need to tie that filter with a specific value within this question. So now I have client creation data saved for both of them. Done. And save this. And I go back in here. Client creation date is January is on January 21st. See, January 21. The answer should be three. In both of these questions here and there. Hmm. No answer. Why? Sorry, January 18. On January 18. Update filter. And let's see if it works now. Yes, we got three over here and three over here. It filters the chart according to your needs. And that's really awesome. You can share this with anybody you want, by the way. So let's do turn sharing on, sharing and embedding. And yes, I want to be able to share this. I can embed it in an app. I can share it via public link. And I copy this link, but the only problem once I copy the link is I also, oh yeah, that's all there is to it pretty much. If you want to paste in a filter, right? A filter, for example, of that specific day, January 18, you just pass somebody this whole question, and that's how you can give people your business analytics take on things. Come to meetings prepared with data about what exactly is happening. As you see, I set client creation date over here. It's really awesome. Now that I paste client creation date within the URL, it's going to automatically input that into the filter. And it's going to automatically do this, and boom, this can be shared with anybody, even a non metabase user. So let's summarize over here because we only have two minutes left in order to wrap up. This is Metabase open source data visualization, gives you both charts, gives you easy, easy making a question, adding that question to a dashboard. Everybody on the team can now see all of my activity from today. These are all the things I did. Okay. I created a dashboard, I created a question, and people can go in and, and look at that, my daily work, just for that itself, just the CTO being able to communicate with the other developers on the team, somebody who's working on the back end, just being able to share data like this and having a discussion to see whether you're on the same page in terms of the UX and the goals. And pulses, again, if you uh, want to create a pulse, you just go over here, and I'm going to go to clients, right, all clients. And this way I can have this sent to me, Alicia, clients update, okay, for that specific time. I don't know why it's doing this. All clients, orders. See if I do count of clients. No. I want the count of clients. What does that get me? An error occurred while displaying the card. It used to be that you didn't need it to be this type of stuff, but it's pretty good anyways, okay. I can send it to Slack also if I want. That's pretty cool. Configure Slack. And that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. One click deploy. You got the question. You got you got it all. Dashboards, questions that you place within dashboards. Everything here is saved, by the way. That's a really nice feature. I love searching through here. Right? Once you got about a hundred questions in here, just search for it, orders, and it'll go there. 
it's really nice. So I always hope you guys enjoyed our, my MetaBase dashboard. Hopefully you can use it within your workflow. Uh, it's a great thing for QA also if you need to monitor a dashboard or if you just want to send data to your